All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. I know you guys probably hear the ducks in the background. That is because we are outside, but in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you inside, outside, front yard, backyard, and pretty much every room that has an aquarium. And today we're gonna be feeding all of my animals. We have the turtle, we have salt water, we have fresh water. This is gonna be an action packed video. I'm gonna show you pretty much every animal I own in this video. So without further ado, let's stop wasting our time out here and rush right into the first tank. Now the first tank here is this Aquilon 15 gallon column aquarium in my kitchen. Now this tank is really awesome. Believe it or not, it's a little over four years old. Um, a lot of these fish like the angelfish in here are original. Um, we also have some tetras, there's a bristlenose pleco as well as an albino shark. Um, these guys are great eaters. They're just simple tropical fish. As soon as this lid opens, they pretty much know it's time for food. Now these guys get a pretty good variety, but today it's just going to be flake food. Um, this is my favorite flake food that I'm currently using. It's this Aquion tropical flake food. Um, it was super cheap on Amazon. The fish really like it. I've never had any issues with it, but I tend to bounce around anyways, just to, you know, keep things fresh. The thing I like about this fish food specifically is the flake size. So normally smaller flakes isn't really the best thing, but for these more aggressive fish, like the angelfish and the tetras, these guys are ferocious eaters. So the smaller flake size makes sure that enough food gets down for the bottom feeder like that albino shark or even some of the more timid platies um, but these guys are doing really well not too much to update here swinging right on outside this is my patio bowl this is by aquascape it is a seven gallon little waterfall bowl now unfortunately because the temperatures are going down our pothos plants and bamboo back here are not looking too hot the fish in here are just guppies and some white clouds they get that same aquion flake these guys are doing pretty good as well. They don't love the colder weather, um, but there's still a whole bunch of baby fish in there as well. It's kind of hard for you to see them because of the reflection, but they are just up there on the surface, those little uh, gray babies. Um, this pothos plant back here used to be doing really, really well. It, it likes the warmth. I mean, it is just a typical house plant. It's trailing a ton, but unfortunately, as it gets cold, some of those leaves start to yellow and it's, you know, it doesn't get as happy. But this is its second season going through the winter, so I assume it will hopefully come out fine. Swinging into the backyard now, this is honestly my favorite thing to feed. This is my koi pond. Um, if you didn't watch last week's video where we got three new koi, I highly recommend checking that out. Uh, I go into a little more in depth on that, but these guys just get tetra pond food right now. Koi food, super simple, super basic. I was feeding them Hikari for a while, but it just no longer became cost effective. So this was on sale at PetSmart, so I grabbed it. Um, I feed these guys every single day quite a bit of food because there is so many of these koi and they're just really, really big. But these guys are so fun to watch eat. They all come up to the surface, super personable. They'll nibble on your fingers, they'll let you pet them. They're not timid at all, which is really awesome. Like I said, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite aquariums, bodies of water, if you will, to feed. I've had some of these koi in here for a very long time, but the five biggest ones all came from someone else's koi pond. They happen to be breaking it down. Um, I got the two, the uh, gray one and that white and orange spotted one about two years ago and then just recently picked up the other three last week. So if you want to learn a little bit more about this koi pond, I would recommend checking out that video. You can get the backstory on those koi just a little bit more. There's also some small goldfish in here and even a Chinese hyphen banded shark, but we're not going to see him today because he is probably hunkered down, uh, camouflaging at the bottom. And of course, while we're out here by the pond, we cannot forget about the ducks. Actually, for these guys today, I have some uh, some blackberries right here. Of course, they're still going to be a little shy. They don't like me that much. But they'll just go ahead and feast on these blackberries. It's like a little buffet. Um, they love berries. They love fruit. They love vegetables. But these guys are loving the rainy weather because they like to make messes in all of the little puddles. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Moving back inside, next up is my red-eared slider turtle. Uh, this guy, believe it or not, cannot eat on land. So we're gonna have to wait for him to go in the water, which um, doesn't take very much convincing. He just chills out on that basking dock whenever. But for his food, he gets the majority of his diet is this Hikari turtle pellet. Uh, in addition to this pellet, he does get some other snacks here and there. But today we're just gonna be feeding him the basic pellets. He loves these. I mean, he's a turtle. They pretty much eat anything. He's a super fun eater. And I never have any problem getting him to eat pellets, that is. However, uh, the other part of his diet is lettuce, specifically red leaf lettuce, which he doesn't quite show as much of an interest in. I keep calling it a he. I don't know if this is a boy turtle or a girl turtle. I really don't care. Um, you know, it doesn't matter to me. Either way, we're just going to call him a he for the purpose of this video and probably for the next little bit. But his tank is super minimalistic, super clean, and he is doing good. Now, honestly, probably other than the koi pond, my favorite tank is my 120 gallon reef tank. We have a ton of tangs in here, clownfish, wrasses, you name it. 
it's in here this tank is thriving like it's doing so 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 good you have no idea this tank brings me so much happiness so feeding these guys is always fun i like to feed them reef nutrition tdo pellets just a quick little sprinkle of this these are the pellets in the medium size the thing i like about these pellets is that they sink pretty quick so some of the bigger fish that like to eat from the surface they get enough food but it also sinks down for the little guys like the cleaner shrimp the hermit crab stuff like that so they can pick stuff up off the rocks i do have quite a few little shrimp in here i believe there's three of them so it's good to make sure they get enough to eat now i also go ahead and feed these guys seaweed this is just plain seaweed basically for the herbivorous fish like the tangs and the fox face it just goes on a little clip right here Put that clip in the water and the tangs absolutely love it they go crazy for this stuff like i try to feed this at least mm, a couple times a week just because they love it so much they rip big sheets off and they just go crazy for it now my other saltwater tank is this basically fish only 36 gallon saltwater tank not quite as pretty as the reef but it is so much more low maintenance if you will there's a little puffer fish in here he's super cute a yellow tang and then some other small you know community fish these guys eat the exact same thing that reef nutrition pellet it's a great overall pellet all of these guys like it you can actually hear the puffer fish crunching on them sometimes the fish in this tank tend to be super timid especially this yellow tang so he's you know kind of camera shy right now but then in addition to the pellets these guys will also get frozen brine shrimp along with the main reef and they'll also get of course seaweed now we're not feeding the brine shrimp today i like to mix up their diet with flakes and brine shrimp you know throughout the week but seaweed is always a staple this is actually for the yellow tang but the puffer fish goes crazy for it i mean i don't know what the deal is with seaweed but these guys just love this stuff and then as they back away from the camera the yellow tang you know becomes a little less timid and comes up to eat moving right along another freshwater tank this is my 55 gallon kind of mixed community aquarium but we just have a nice mix of tropical fish in here because there are so many random fish in here of different sizes i have an automatic fish feeder on here which feeds that aquion flake a couple times a day just to make sure everyone gets fed and happy we'll just put it on manual feed real quick and as you can see these guys are always ferocious i find that tetras are crazy eaters they will go nuts for food unlike any other fish as you can see we have a garami in there some angel fish just really a mixed bag of fish in here honestly but in addition to just those flakes which get auto fed daily i also like to throw in some cichlid pellets for that large orange parrot cichlid these are just some larger pellets uh, the angel fish will also pick at some of these just because i feel bad you know only keeping that guy to flakes so the bigger fish i like to give a little bigger snack to if you will but regardless everyone in here is doing good everything in here is a super good eater i never have any issues with that there is some more timid fish in here you don't really see too often which is unfortunate there's some shy rainbow sharks some shy catfish in here as well but because there is so much decor they have no problem hiding and feeling comfortable which is good now right below this tank is my shrimp tank this is not a pretty tank by any means it's not a show tank it is simply serving for the purpose of breeding red cherry shrimp i sell these guys to my local fish store and on ebay every once in a while super super easy low maintenance shrimp nothing but a sponge filter and an auto feeder on this tank really in this automatic fish feeder is actually those cichlid pellets i find that the bigger pellets are great for shrimp because as the pellets dissolve multiple shrimp can kind of catch pieces off of it and now last but not least for the aquariums moving into our most recently set up tank this is the higer eight gallon aquarium this is a super cool all-in-one tank. I really like it, and I've kept it set up ever since I made that video on that. So if you want to learn about this tank a little more in depth, you can go ahead and check out the video I made all about unboxing and reviewing this tank. But today, I'm going to be just dropping in an algae wafer. We do have a lot of bottom feeders in here, some cory catfish and a pleco. Of course, the algae wafer decides not to sink. But we're going to drop in half of an algae wafer, and as it dissolves, the fish will be able to pick at it. But now for these gold white cloud minnows, these guys are pretty ferocious eaters, similar to tetras. So I'm going to go ahead and supplement them with just some more aquion flakes. I really love a good flake food um if i'm not feeding aquion flakes i'll feed tetra flakes and if i'm not feeding flake food at all i also like to do pellets but i find for some of the smaller fish it's just easier for them to eat flakes than pellets regardless these guys really will eat whatever i just have to move some of the duckweed out of the way because there is a lot going on in this tank Make sure those flakes get down to the fish and then as soon as they start getting waterlogged these guys go nuts for it. And here we are back outside. Now, I know you guys just saw me feed every fish, and as I mentioned, this is just a typical day of feeding. I try to keep their diet pretty varied, so I also feed stuff like the frozen brine shrimp. Um, every once in a while, they'll get live brine shrimp, those algae wafers. I kind of just try to mix things up in their diet. I like to not stick to the same brand of food or type of food for too long. I don't know, I feel like I get bored eating the same thing, why I wouldn't fish? So I like to alternate, especially with saltwater fish, I find they really enjoy a variety in their diet. So between seaweed, 
flake food, and then different brands of pellet food. I like to mix those up throughout the days of the week, and then of course also supplement frozen food here and there. So you saw me feed kind of the basics today, but that's not what they get every day. I just wanted to you know keep you guys in the loop, let you know what's going on. But that is gonna be it for this week's video. If you guys have any other questions or um, want to see something specific for next week's video, let me know in the comments below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and good.